Hello, BW. It's President Bob Helmer. I'm joined today by Dean Jim McCarger. What a great day on the BW campus. First of all, it's the first day of the spring semester. So good to have the students and the faculty back in the classrooms, back on campus. And then today, January 19th, is a particularly great day for campus because we are we're dedicating, we're cutting the ribbon, we are opening the Knowlton Center, this beautiful building. The first new building for academic affairs in decades on our campus. And so today we celebrate the future of BW and what is going to be happening in this building for years to come. Before we go any further, I just want to highlight a couple people. Uh, I want to point out Mike and Brandon from the Collaborative, our architectural firm. They're the ones who designed the building. Gareth, Ryan, Michael from Higley Company and their team, they're the ones who built the building. So people worked hard during the pandemic. Uh, all through this past year, this building was under construction, a physical testament to the future of BW. So today we cut the ribbon, the Knowlton Center. I uh, want to first, before we go any further, I want to invite the Knowlton Foundation, who is unable to be with us today, but will be with us when we do a more formal ceremony in August. Uh, they sent a video. Eric Lindbergh, one of the uh, trustees for the Knowlton Foundation, has a video for us uh, explaining their participation in this project. So to the Knowlton Foundation. Hello, this is Eric Lindbergh. I am a trustee of the Austin e. Knowlton Foundation. And on behalf of our foundation and, and my fellow trustees, would like to pass along our congratulations on the opening of the Knowlton Science Center. From what I'm able to see virtually, it looks like an absolutely spectacular facility. Uh, it being a building, I'm a little bit jealous of those of you who are able to actually walk around and begin enjoying it today. We're very looking forward to being able to get back on campus when that's feasible to, to actually see all of these fantastic labs and social spaces and, and other capabilities in person. It, I think it's gonna be a terrific part of the future of Baldwin Wallace. You know, I think it's it's important to, to uh, pass along. Mr. Knowlton himself would have just been so excited to see his funds being used for this project at Baldwin Wallace. He was a lifetime advocate of all of the STEM academic areas. He was an architect and an engineer, and he, he believed very, very strongly in, uh, in being able to pr provide to college students uh, this array of hard math and science skills that the Science Center will make possible. And he was also always an advocate of, of ensuring that, that affordable, great education was available to a wide array of young people, an incredibly important passion in his life. It's been really fun to partner together with the exceptional team at Baldwin Wallace. All of you are, are lucky to have, uh, have President Helmer and, and the rest of that team in place. Uh, I think they, they have brought together a facility that is going to be really a centerpiece and a, a fantastic part of the future of Baldwin Wallace. And again, our congratulations on, on the opening today. Uh, and we're very excited for the, uh, the, the university to begin to be able to exploit all of these capabilities and, and looking forward to being on there, uh, there on campus together with all of you as soon as possible to, uh, to complete the celebration and, and check out these facilities in person. Again, our congratulations and uh, has been super exciting to be able to participate in this really terrific project. Hi, I'm Jim McCarger and I'm the Dean of the School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics and Computing. And it's really a pleasure to welcome you here today on a really historic day as we cut the ribbon and have a ceremonial opening of the new Austin E. Knowlton Center, the home of engineering, computer science, mathematics, and physics. I'm really looking forward to having our students and faculty back in this facility where we have state-of-the-art laboratories. And this is really going to become a very active hub on campus as this building, along with Telfer and Wilker, um, are going to be the hub for all kinds of collaborative activity that involves faculty and students, as well as our external community partners. We're really looking forward to having people back on campus, and we're really looking forward to solving the unscripted problems that are needed to be solved in Northeast Ohio and the state of Ohio, and be part of the economic development of Northeast Ohio and the state. Very, very excited. Classes have already started here today, and it's just so good to have everybody back on campus. 
This is really where futures are going to be made. It's where the future workforce of Northeast Ohio is going to come from. This will become a model for how we work with community partners. Okay, President Helmer, let's officially open the Knowlton Center with the cutting of the ribbon. Three, two, one. Now, this is the official opening of our building. Let's hear from some of our other donors and corporate sponsors for the building. Greetings, BW community. My name is Chuck Rotuno, executive chairman of OEC, a global provider of software solutions to the automotive industry based right here in Northeast Ohio. On behalf of all of us at OEC, I want to extend the warmest congratulations to Baldwin Wallace University on the completion of the Knowlton Center, a state-of-the-art facility that further strengthens BW's commitment and leadership in the fields of STEM, which are so vital to our region. As a trustee and an alum of BW, I can tell you that the completion of this facility is truly a dream come true. We at OEC look forward to our continued partnership with BW to help students realize their dreams in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. Congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is Bennett Gaines. I am the Senior Vice President of First Energy. I have responsibility for all of our corporate services as well as I am the CIO for the company and head the cybersecurity uh, functions uh, that protect our cyber assets. I'm a 1975 BW grad as well. I'm currently serving as a board of trustee. This afternoon, I'm here to talk about First Energy's commitment to BW and more importantly, its commitment to uh, the building that's being dedicated, the Knowlton facility uh, to support the STEM skills, skills uh, that are needed both in industry, government, academia, and other fields. The facility uh, is, in my mind, a testament of uh, bringing together all of the STEM-based skills or most of the STEM-based skills uh, into one facility, uh, bringing uh, a degree of collaboration with students and faculty as well as industry. Uh, First Energy uh, has a number of grads uh, from BW specifically in the STEM area, uh, and we will continue to support uh, the uh, university. The significance of that uh, is the dedication of the cybersecurity lab that will go into the Knowlton facility. We think this will uh, benefit both the students as well as the graduates once they leave the university. So with that, congratulations to uh, Baldwin Wallace University, uh, and we look forward to a continued strong relationship. Hi, I'm Agnes Dover, a Baldwin Wallace alum, and I have the honor of being the chair of our Board of Trustees. Today, the opening of the Knowlton Math, Computer Science, and Engineering Building is a very special moment for BW. This is going to be a wonderful venue for our students, our faculty, for business partners, to learn, to experiment, innovate, collaborate. And the opening today is also a testament to the grit and commitment of our community, because notwithstanding all of the challenges these many months with the pandemic, the project was completed on time. So kudos to BW staff and leadership, to the construction crew, and to all the donors who contributed to make this project possible. Thank you so much. Hope you all stay healthy and well throughout the year. Thank you. We are now inside the building here in the OEC Forum. And this is the space for students to relax, to study, perhaps to hear a lecture here on the Forum stairs. Uh, this is kind of the hub of the building right here. Um, behind me, on this side is the data visualization lab. And it looks like right now it is showing real-time cyber threats around the world. Uh, it is a lab that is really cool. Um, I don't know all that it does, but our faculty do and our students do. 
And, uh, and I can see Jen from engineering laughing at me, but that's okay, that's okay. This building was built for the faculty and the students of these departments. And so that, that's, that's why we have what we have. Uh, the other cool thing down here is the elevator shaft. This is surrounded by wood and the wood is the wood from the trees that were on this land before we built the building. Uh, we had to cut some trees down to make room. We saved those trees and they are now wrapping the elevator shaft. So the first floor has this space and then of course the engineering labs, the computer science labs, classrooms, all on the first floor. Let's go up to the second floor, take a look up there. We are now on the second floor of the building. Uh, behind me immediately is the student lounge space with some study space. We have four students already up here, uh, some computer science and cybersecurity majors. So this is a space for students to again, to relax, but to do some studying together in groups. On this floor are all of the faculty offices. Um, and again, the four faculty uh, departments are math, computer science, physics, and engineering. So those faculty are all here. And at the far end of the building are the physics labs. So this is the Knowlton Center, uh, open today for the students and the faculty of BW, very much the future of our university. The last thing I wanna show you is the view from the second floor. You saw the front of the building as we were cutting the ribbon a few minutes ago. When you see the view from inside looking out, it's spectacular. So I'll end there. Uh, this has been the virtual ribbon cutting, the opening of the building. In August, we'll do something more formal. Uh, assuming the pandemic is behind us, we'll do something more traditional. But for today, the building is open and uh, it is a great addition to our campus. So thank you everyone. Look forward to seeing you soon.